Hi, today we are doing Swiss chard. And first off, we've cut the stems off and got them all ready, washed them. What you do is you get a pot of rolling, boiling water on the stove and then you place the Swiss chard into the water. This is called blanching for anybody who does not know. And you blanch these for two minutes. Whoops, whoops. That's supposed to go in the water. Okay, I'm gonna grab my tongs. I'm gonna stick my hand in there. I don't know why. And then after you've blanched them, you put them in some ice cold water, cool them down, and then the next I'll show you how to put them in the bags. Alright, see you then which you're not supposed to freeze the stems because they get woody flavored. So you trim them off and you put it in some water, wash them. I don't use that much stem. And they say that you can use the stems for other things, but we're just doing this freezing right now. So after you've rinsed them and washed them, make sure they're really good, you put them in a pan of hot water for two minutes so that will blanch them and then you put them in cold water which we already have some here already blanched and ready to go to the bag so got the wrong bag she had one open sitting right over there and I didn't see it anyway you take them out and you dry them first I forgot about the drying part almost towel here. I'm just going to pat them dry for purpose of filming. Then you take the bag and you put them in and then it says to lay them flat inside the freezer so they'll freeze quicker. We're using quart size instead of gallon. So it's just mainly going to be Perry and I eating these. And then once, and they'll keep for a while too, once they're frozen. And of course you leave some head space. And there you have it. First let the air out. And there's a Swiss charge ready to go into the freezer. That's it.